Hey everybody, it's a beautiful Saturday morning and we have an auction about an hour from here. Uh, looks like they're liquidating a lake house from what I heard. Lake houses always have antiques, always. So I think you ought to get in the truck with me and let's head over there and see what they got. Maybe, just maybe, we score some cool stuff. Jump in, let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to Glacier Trading Company. I'm Craig. Join me from my remote northern location as I buy and sell antiques, collectibles, vintage, and old guitars. I buy from auctions, estate liquidations, both public and private, and resell online. Hang out with me for a bit and see what I got this week, and meet some of the local wildlife that live in my backyard. Let's get to it. Thanks, man. I will be hungry, though. I did not see that. Hey, Craig, how's it going? Living the dream, buddy. Yeah. How about you? You have weird dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You don't even want to go there. <laughs> Those are cool. Water stains. It's got wheels too. Pretty cool. I like that one. And this is its partner in crime. Not bad. Oh, it's just like my grill, except grosser. Yeah, that's way gross. Looks like it's fished out of the bottom of a creek. Well, that's cool if I had a use for that, but. Hey, Mike. Hey, Tom. How much fun are we having? The right answer is all of it.
Ja. Me too. No. Do chickens have lips? <laughs> oh, I got it. I was gonna send you one. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Oh no, you can interject if you want. <laughs> I just gotta have this thing working. As long as he's playing cowboy music back there, I'm gonna have to overdub it anyway because I get a copyright strike from that crap. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's good stuff here this week. So what is the realtor doing? She's working it out for me because I, I, I might chop the property up into a 10 acre with my big building and then two, you know what, there's a, there's a buddy. I really hate to give it away. Yeah. It's always fun talking to you. Yeah. That is a crazy looking garbage. Did you see this garbage can? Oh my god! That is weird. Silver plate.
Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. These are the ones they shaved, but years ago, but see the point broken off of here. I don't know how the heck did you ever just close shaving them shavers uh, years I'd ago. I'd add a beard down to my knees if I had to rely on that. Yeah, I, the end is broken off. Should I pull it out here? Thanks. Uh, I mean, oh, you're right. I mean, right here, the, the point down here oh, is I broken see off. I see and could you imagine like going to a barbershop and letting somebody else trust in them that they're not going to slit your throat with that thing? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's something a bit razor. I'm not going to touch it. Sharp. I know what's going to happen next. I haven't had my tetanus shot in the last 7,000 years. So. <laughs> I'm going to pass. Yeah, I have to. I saw some in good shape. I wish I had bought them, but. Yeah. What the heck it's... is this thing? No idea. Mystery gift for you.
I shouldn't buy clocks because I've got like a thousand. Another Saturday, another auction, and back home with a truckload of stuff. I got some pretty fun stuff here. Some of it's user-friendly, but there's some pretty cool antique stuff in here, too. So well, let's get it all off the truck and drag it out and show you what I got. No, just stand here and push down. I weigh 474,000 pounds. Just gonna start on one end and work my way over. Um, the little kid's rocker. Cute, that's gonna end up going to a grandkid. This was, um, I don't really do anything in old belts, but there's kind of some interesting um, buckles, I guess, in here. But it was in a box with other stuff, and the reason I bought it is I wanted this. It was a dollar. And um, that's a really cool little key and latch. Very cool. Early, 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 early. This key. Isn't that wacky? wild right it's hollow on the end I bet to find that key is be just insanely difficult so there's that I got a lot of stuff piled on this little table I got this little uh, little scale if you follow me you know I love old scales anything to do with uh, early commerce Let's see if I can 
that one cranked around. There we go. There's a little knob I'm turning on the top. It's how you calibrate these. There's a, it's catching because there's a little, see this? I mean, it's really hard to do this with one hand. Um, see this, this is grabbing on everything. And what it is, it's a different, it's another pointer. See that? And it's got a little screw there. It's like a, and it spins around and it catches on all that stuff. So it needs to be tightened up and I will tighten it up. But since I just got home with it, that's what it is for now. Real nice little piece of hand painted, little miniature picture, beautiful. And I got a bunch of ball jars, although they were in different lots from one another. This particular one came in a lot with, I don't know, it came in this lot right here. This is just a box of, there's no twin sheets in there. Sometimes you just don't get to pick, but um, these were in there. Hey, could you maybe spread these out on that little table there? Sure. Thanks. My, my sister helping out. And these are pretty early. And the reason I got them is I'm doing a, this glue up on this old back bar piece. And I thought they would, just like I thought, they would fit in there. Jen, look how these fit in here. Oh, Isn't that amazing? Of course, it's built for it, you know. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's what those are about. And these were um, old feet bags. And I'm not going to get all in unraveled here. I'll probably never get them folded back up. Move this over here. This is an old level. Um, the bubble's working and everything, but uh, that bit is missing. So there's no bubble here in the in the hole anymore for doing verticals. Um, I see somebody's got a price tag on it. Eight dollars as is. That would have been a good buy. I paid more than that for it. Um, it's a CNS company, I believe. It's early though. All these parts are brass, and uh, it's just a it's just a display piece, but nonetheless cool. I buy more old levels than you can imagine. And this is probably like a late '60s Rand. Rand McNally Globe. Um, getting shadows here. Soviet Union. That's what you want to see on an older globe. It's not a million years old, but... Uh, boy, I'm getting so much shadowing here. There you go. And their globes are always excellent sellers. They just... You can't miss with the globe. Well, I just love this table. I didn't even try it. <laughs> I, I didn't even care if it worked or not. How is that possible? Wow. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And the drawer works. It just, it's got a dovetail in the end and there's a, the, the, the mate part for it is there. So it's, it just kind of drags across that. It's hard to get it to line up. Probably not the best design in the world. But yeah, it's all there. The stainless is still good. The, the Formica top is still good. Cleaned up, that could be pretty cool. So yeah, and my uh, coral sheets that came in that box. There you go. Well, that looks really good on the yellow, doesn't it? Colors. Really good. Um, and there was this box. That was really risky what I did, just picking this up with one hand, but... It's essentially just a bunch of old ball jars. There's another, well, that's Atlas, but a bale top. Those are always popular. Um, and I don't know, two, four, six, eight. Nine. I suppose I got, over the course of the day, I got 10 or 11 of those. We're in Wisconsin. Milking stools are in a lot of old farm sales. This one's rough. Looks like somebody used it to cut a piece of wood on. But I don't care. 
Somebody's going to buy it and they're going to love it. How could you not? Next. Well, first I guess I'll do the scale. Look at that bad boy. Aren't those graphics amazing? There's a tag. I don't know if I can get it. So all I'm doing, seem to be doing is making shadows here. Sears Roebuck. Believe it or not. And I'll look up and see if I can find a year and put that. But brass and uh, it works. Six hundred pound capacity. So that leads me to the bottom, and look at all the gas nozzles I got. Killer vintage gas nozzles. I do really good with these online. Most of these will bring twenty-five to sixty-five dollars. Like that, it just looks like a piece of junk. But that's all brass. That's solid brass. This thing weighs a ton. A lot of the early ones were brass. So there's a great big pile of those. I probably have, I'm going to guess like $45-ish, somewhere in that neighborhood. This is great. You're looking at it and go, dude, isn't that a garbage can? It is. But this is an antique garbage can. And you cannot even come close to understanding how heavy this thing is. Everything is riveted, steel bands. Look how that's constructed. Look at the bottom of this. I think it's older than your grandparents. The guy bidding against me wanted to use this to put bird food in. I was like, dude, go buy a plastic can. Let me have this. Because this is amazing. You have, to have love, you have to love antiques to appreciate the antique garbage can, right? I, I yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't expect you people to understand. And then there was this box of just miscellaneous tool stuff. I go through so many razor blades here. That was nice. But those are in there. Some Sawzall. Uh, craftsman sockets. Just a ton of miscellaneous stuff, electrical tape. Lamp socket, bunch of maybe seven inch or so new screws, great big pile of those. Anyway, that was a buck. And then it leads me to the grill. I have one of these, but it doesn't have the warming tray on it. And this thing is just pig filthy, but that's what they made easy off in pressure washers for. I'll have this thing shined up in no time. And what else? Oh, yeah, I got an old-timey coal scuttle. Man, it's a real old one. Really old. You can tell by the bottom in there. Everything's pop-riveted. They're kind of gross, but they're cool. And they're pretty popular, too. So there's that. And then... And then I got a bunch of arrowheads. Hey, look, I think there's 15 of them here. Came with the, the quarter bag, too, the U.S. Mint bag, which actually is quite uh, collectible in itself. But there's some, there's some pretty good ones in here. This, this is real weird. Um, when I saw this, I, it's one of the reasons I bought. This might be, I don't know if this is a kettle point, but in the real early settler days, um, when the people would come here and trade with the Native Americans, they traded them pots and kettles and teapots and stuff like that. And the Native Americans cut them up and made spear tips out of them because it was just faster and simpler than creating that. <laughs> and so this is the only one in this lot that's like that, and I'm curious to know um, 
about what age that might be or if it's something else and I'm completely off the mark, but it definitely was uh, adorned the end of a spear. There's just no doubt in my mind. A spear or arrow. I don't know what else it could possibly be. And all the rest of these, we've all seen these. But nonetheless, they're really cool, I think. And online, these run the gamut. Some of these are better than others. Well, there's a couple good ones in here. That one's real early. Early man. So, yeah, that was kind of a cool find. But here's, here's a big winner. And for those of you who don't know, you're looking at this chair and going, well, it's wasted. Well, it's not. It was in storage. It's got some crud on it. It's got mildew on it. But the wood is excellent. It works. And it's an icorn stressless. And if you don't know what an icorn stressless is, go online and look. Just go to... Let's go to eBay, look one up. An Icorn Stressless, it's all there with the Ottoman. They're 11, 12, 1300 bucks. I paid $5 for it. Leather Rocker, five bucks. Amazing, it's almost like free money. Nobody there knew what it was and it just looked to be a wreck. See, it says stressless there. Stressless. And it's a swivel recliner. Leather. If you've never sat in an icorn chair, they're amazing.
back just cracked. Well, this thing's awesome. Well, everybody, I'm going to take a little snooze. But thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.